apologies for any noise, this is a new mic and it's very, very windy outside. I'm supposed to cut the noise down, but I don't know whether that would work. Anyway, damage. Casabanca garlic, garlic blown over in the wind. This is my little weekly update from the garden anyway. Every Saturday, as I said. If you watch the last one, I mean. More damage to the garlic there. And that one's Casablanca as well. Same as that one. Should be fine actually. It hasn't actually snapped them as such. And they're almost ready for harvesting anyway, but. Never mind. I still like them short of it. <laughs> this is all due to be lifted in the next month or two. And stored, and frozen, and chopped up. Let's go and have a look around the back. It's been really bad at the last couple of years. With this wind. damage from chewing insects I can't, can't see. I put a bit of defence around the two the greenhouses there. When I was inside the green one yesterday, taking the tomato plants, it was actually lifting up slightly because I had the door wide open. So I won't be doing that today. together and there's beetroot shallots I put them in earlier on in the week there and I'm just deciding to do what with these pot plants that's nasturtiums these are supposed to be lovely big flowers but it doesn't look very clever to me big tub of white lisbon isn't there? white lisbon spring onions yep yeah. Cosmos behind there, in front of the peas. Again, they're pretty battered with the frost then, but they pretty bad. Um, still yet to decide what to do with these ones, so just leave them to grow on for now. There's some nice leaks at the back, they're looking quite good. Green ones as well. More leaks, they planted them later though. When did I plant them? Fourth of the fourth. And these ones were, ah, no dear, 29th of the 1st, what am I talking about? These garlics are not looking too bad. Ones are fine. More, there's another Casablanca garlic. They're dead weak, but they are actually dead cheap in comparison to how much I paid for the other garlics, the Casablanca, I got them from home base. Was it home base? It was either home base or Sutton seeds. And they're not as strong as what they make out. All the other garlics fine apart from them. Hmm. 
interesting to have to notice that for next year. And what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna plunk you down a minute while I'm moving this out of here. Southern Walls. They're doing brilliantly. We took all the suckers off them yesterday and the first truss of a live weather. Some flowers coming up somewhere. Oh, where were they? Can't find it now. Is it these ones? There, there they are. First trusses. What was that? Red alert. All these are planted at the same time on the 7th of March. It's interesting to see how the different breeds grow. Someone's come out there. Peppers below, mini munch cucumbers. Yep, then they pop them in shortly. Oops, they weren't doing as clever up there. Gardener's Delight, Money Maker. I had problems with that one last year. Never really grew at all. This is what I was saying yesterday when I was in here. I was hanging on to this because it was lifting up and moving about like that. I was like, Jesus Christ, I thought it was going to blow away. But it's sufficiently anchored, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just me. It's because the door was open, letting all the air in. But thankfully, the wind's been dying down all day. Oh, that one needs stinging up. Damn it. A mini bell, I need a bamboo for that. Bamboos are just out here. I think we're going to need more than that one then. Plunk it in. See from the top might be easier. I can feel roots under there. No, it's alright. Right, so I'll get some string and tie that round. And for now, that'll do. That'll do for tonight. There's another sucker. It's amazing how quick these come back. I just done all these yesterday and they're coming back straight away. There you are, there's two more. Hmm. Let's check that. 